crafters. So today what I want to show you is some Cricut basics. So this video is for if you just got your Cricut and you're like, how the heck do I do anything? How do I work this design space? So um, I'm just going to show you a few things because I know it can be really overwhelming. So first and foremost, so this is your home page. So this is your design space home page. So over here um, on the left side, this is where you just have some kind of boring things. <laughs> but this is where you can calibrate your printer. So if you're doing print and cut, um, but if you're brand new, you're probably not going to do that just yet. But if you do, this is how you calibrate your machine so it knows how to cut what you've been printing. Um, this is where you can look at your Cricut Access, settings, stuff like that. So the more fun stuff um, is over here. So there's two ways that you can create a new project. So you can either click this button here where it says new project or you can go up here to new project as well. Um, also you can look at all of your existing projects that you have either down here. So you, just by clicking this arrow you can kind of see everything that you're working on or you can go up here to my projects and you can see the same thing um, just in a different format. Alright, so let's make a new project from our home page. So we are going to want to click here so to make our new project. So this is what they call your canvas. So this is where you can make all of your fun stuff. Um, so you can upload photos down here. So if you want to upload an image from the internet, you can do that. If you want to put in a shape, you can do that here. If you want to enter a text box, you can do that here. And then all of your fonts are going to be up in this little guy here. You can search Cricut images. So Cricut has their own kind of archive of images. Um, and I like it because the home page or, you know, right when you click images, it'll kind of bring up what's seasonal. So, um, these are all of the images that they have here and you can search too. So if you want to find something with like a, let's just say lightning bolt, I don't know why that's really random, but it'll bring up all of the images that they have there. So some other things over here, so there's projects, so these are some things that they have um, that you can, um, these are projects that they have that you can, you know, find the templates for or the files for, um, so that's really fun. And then over here is where they have some template, templates or templates, so um, if you're making a banner or if you're making a shirt, you can use these templates. Um, as kind of a foundation and you can design whatever you need to off of here. So if you're making a chair, you can kind of design what it would look like on your chair. I don't use these too much, but it's another tool that you can use. So um, let's say we wanted to just make a simple vinyl decal that says, um, uh, since it's Halloween, let's do something Halloween-y. We can say, it's wine time, which is, I don't know, that's kind of cute. So to do that, what we want to do first is we want to enter a text box. So you're going to enter your text box here, and you're going to type in whatever you want it to say. So it's wine time witches. Oops, I should spell witches, right? Witches. So to move your text around on the canvas, you're going to just click it and drag it. So then you can kind of put it wherever you want. So if you like this font, then you can do that. But if you want to change your font, you're going to go up here to the font click this little drop down arrow and it has a ton, 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 ton of fonts. So you can just find one, whatever you think you you like best. So Cricut has a ton of fonts. 
that you could choose from, or you can upload your own, um, which I'll show you in a different video how to do that. But uh, let's do this Babbit. So once you like find a font, you just click on it, and it's going to change your text to that font. So um, one thing that is really important when you're doing these kind of scripty fonts is you want all of these letters to touch. So see how this I doesn't touch this T and the S. Is, nothing's connected. They're supposed to be because it's supposed to be, you know, like a script, script cursive type font. And if you post anything anywhere, people will start to get on you about welding your fonts. So... Um, what we want to do here is we want to weld it. So in order to weld it and move all of our letters closer, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Um, the way I like to do it best is I like to first ungroup my text. So I'm going to go over here to ungroup. So I'm going to make sure my, all, my text is selected and you can tell because there's this box around it. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit ungroup. So now, basically what that does is now it, all of these letters are separated. So now we can do whatever we want with them. So what we want to do to make all the text touch and get welded together is we're just going to move those letter, these letters one by one so they kind of overlap. So I'm just going to move all of these to where it makes sense, where they would naturally touch for a script font. Alright, so once you get these where you want them, so you can just kind of, and remember they're not welded yet, so you kind of have to be careful when you're dragging them around. But whenever you want to select a chunk of text, all you have to do is just click anywhere on your canvas and just drag. So see, this is going to select these four letters right here so I can move it all as one piece of text. Alright, so I think that looks good how it is. So now what we're going to want to do is um, we want to weld our text. So to do that, I'm going to select all of this text so you can see it's all selected and then I'm going to come down here see where it says weld and I'm just going to click that button so now what that does is all my letters are stuck together it's all one piece of text so now it looks like an actual cursive font so the only thing you have to be careful of when you weld is once you weld it and then save it and then go work on something else, it's going to be welded forever. So the only way that you can unweld something is you need to do it before you save it and all you need to do is just hit undo up here. So see now it's all separate letters again. And you can tell that over here too. These are all of your layers over here. So you can see each letter is its own layer. But once I select all of these and weld it, you can see over here in my layers, it's all one piece of text now. So now we can do whatever we want with it. Um, so speaking of this little section over here, you can also change the color of your text over here too. So let's say we wanted to make this um, like an orange. We can do that here. So all this does is it tells the Cricut machine what color you're going to be cutting on. Okay, so if we had two colors and we wanted them cut on two color mats, so let's say we had some more text down here that said um, focus, focus. 
and like let's say we wanted this all cut on a purple mat we could turn it why is it there we go um, we could turn that purple so this is going to tell your Cricut machine I want this cut out on a on a uh, orange piece of vinyl or cardstock or whatever and I want this one cut out on purple okay so now if we actually wanted to put this on something um, we would need to resize it so to resize it um, so if we just left it how it is here we can only resize it to a certain degree we can't really manipulate it too much but if we come over here to this little lock, we can unlock it. See, it looks like a little un it's unlocked now. And what that does is this will light up green, so now we can really manipulate this however we want. So when it's locked, you can only really manipulate it so much, but when we unlock it, you can really make it however you want okay so if we actually wanted to put this on something we might make it you know this big alright so some other cool things um, that you can do in design space is let's say we have this decal all ready to go but we wanted you know four of them so instead of having to redo this four times that would take forever um, we can come over here to this duplicate button, duplicate, duplicate, and we can just click that and it's going to duplicate it exactly. So if we wanted to do this four times, it is super easy to do that. So we'll get rid of all those. You can also delete over here too if you want but I just like to select and I just hit the delete button on my laptop. Um, so what are some other fun things we can do? Um, so some other things, um, just some basic things you might want to do is if you want to um, actually upload an image. So let's say we wanted a little cat with this. Um, you can do one of two things. You can upload your own image um, which is a little more, um, not advanced, but it's just easier, you know, to come over here to images. But you can upload whatever you want. Um, so I might come over here to images, and I might select, um, I want to put a cat there. So I'll just search for a cat. So I have all of these options to choose from. I kind of just want something really simple. So, but yeah, you can really get lost in these images. They're, they have so much stuff. Oh, that one's really cute. <laughs> oh, this one's cute. This is like very Halloween. Ooh, I like that one a lot too. But I'm going to do this one for a glass so you don't have too much area. So all you need to do is you just select your image so you can see this is free down here it has this green box so I've selected it and you just come over here to insert images so now we have our image here so obviously if we're gonna put this on a wine glass we're gonna need to make it smaller so we're gonna unlock our image and we're gonna make this tiny I probably should have done an actual witch for <laughs> this glass, but it's okay. So another thing too is if you want it to be on like a little tilt or a little angle, they have this rotate button up here, so you just can rotate it however you want. All right, so um, if I were to cut this, I would be happy with it. It's ready to go. This is going to be cut on an orange mat, and then this one's going to be cut on a uh, black mat. So you can tell because this is orange and this is black. So once you're ready to make whatever you want, you come over here to this green Make It button, 
and you just click that. So you can see that this cat is going to be cut out on a black mat. So I'm going to put either black vinyl or black cardstock or whatever. And this one is going to be cut out on a green mat. Or green, on an orange mat. So then if you're ready to cut, you come over here to continue. So I don't have my Cricut hooked up right now, but if I did, it would find my device. And then I would just set all my materials, my tools, and then I would just hit my Cricut button to cut. So I'm going to cancel this because I'm not actually going to cut anything. But this is really the basics of Design Space to get you started. You know how to enter text. You know how to upload an image. You know how to weld so your text looks all nice and... Um, you know, welded together. So, oh, also, you're going to want to make sure you save. So you can title your project as Wine Time Witches. And then hit Save. So it's going to save your project for you. And really, that is some basic, basic, basic stuff to get you started in Design Space. So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe, and you can also follow me on Instagram. So happy crafting, and good luck!